the oral carcinomas are very interesting. Normally you would connote drinking and smoking as being associated with this disease. And indeed, in about 60-70% of the population that gets this, that's exactly what you see. But in the United States, the incidence of drinking, excuse me, of smoking has decreased dramatically in the past 20 years. And yet the incidence of this cancer is continuing to rise. The most rapidly growing group we're detecting in this cancer are younger people who do not drink and do not smoke. What is the underlying cause of this? With this technology, we can uncover it. Is it a virus? And one possible very strong virus is the same virus that causes cervical cancer in women, human papillomavirus. But we already know that there are a group that have it, and then there are a group that don't. So we're going to understand how this disease is, is forming in those individuals. And even more interesting, we're going to be able to figure out ways for each individual cancer, what is the best therapy for eradicating it. What we're trying now is a newer technology. It's a technology based on more advanced types of DNA sequencing that produce 100 times as much data as we could ever produce before. And what we've demonstrated in this is that this technology actually replaces two or three other technologies completely. It provides much more information, much more depth of information, and it will completely transform basically how we're going to start studying cancer very quickly. And that's the major message. Underneath it all, by applying this technology, we discover new things about a cancer that we could never see before.